Hi, this video is the demonstration of both FUT linear scar and FUE tiny dots of scar. Again, I try to provide as many examples as I can to ed educate the audience, the viewer, of the different form of scar from hair transplant. The two different techniques. The FUT leave a linear scar, the FUE leave tiny dots of scar. And the pop, the FUE is very popular among young African American men, or most men who like to wear their head shaved because the FUE scar allows you to shave your head without much detectability. Both FUE and FUT have scar. Uh, where the strip method, uh, if you shave the head, then the strip uh, linear scar can be visible. But if you leave it long, the scar won't be visible. I perform both FUE and FUT. Um, you know, 50% of my client are FUE and 50% are FUT. Um, it's just a very personal journey. Now, if you have advanced hair loss, 90% of the client uh, will opt for the FUT because FUT can harvest 3,500 up to 6,000 grafts per day and have better coverage where the FUE can do 2250, 2500 grafts per day. Um, on the other hand, the FUT is cheaper because less, uh, less labor and it grows 10% more dense. Again, I provide excellent density with both FUE and FUT. On the other hand, the FUE leave tiny dots of scar like this and you can shave your head short. The FUE is less invasive. Uh, a little bit less painful doing recovery than FUT. But the downside of the FUE are, number one, the cost is more expensive. Number two, it grows 10% less dense than the FUT. Again, you have excellent density with my work, whether you do FUE or FUT. And then uh, the number of graphs we can do is less. It's 2250, 2500. On a rare occasion, we can do 3,000, but very rare. Again, so FUE more for mild to moderate hair loss. FUT more for advanced hair loss. So this is the demonstration of both FUE and FUT. Thank you.